Hey everyone, so I wanted to update you a little more on my uh, my quest to make a Halloween based trick or trivia prop. Um, okay, so in my last video I showed you I had a simple quiz script running that was activating some LEDs. Um, but I need touchscreen, you know, I need some touchscreen goodness in my project. So I did a little bit of research and I decided to use a uh, built-in Python GUI program called TK Enter, and uh, I'll show you what happens. So if I run the Python script, we get a trick or trivia screen. Screen. So here you can see it says "Welcome to Trick or Trivia." Answer the question for candy. Um, so my question is: Casper is a friendly blank. Um, so let's select ghost. You can see that the green LED blinks three times and then it will count down for three seconds and exit the program. Alright, let's run it one more time. Alright, so here you see too that uh, I've kind of got a little message on there that if uh, you get a correct answer you get three pieces of candy. If you get an incorrect answer you get one piece. Everybody wins when playing this game. So let's select the uh, incorrect answer. So let's say Casper was a friendly gremlin. There it goes. And the red LED flashes. Sorry about that. My touch screen's a little finicky because I still have the uh, protective plastic over it. All right, so let me show you a little bit of the code. I know this is really bad doing this way. I should screenshot it, but this is what I have for now. So at the top you'll see I'm setting up uh, and importing all of the libraries necessary. I set up the GPIO pins. Then I have a uh, function that blinks an LED. I have another function that blinks another LED. Now you can see I'm setting up TK Enter. Um, I got it set to go full screen. And uh, come further down you can see my labels. Welcome to Trick or Trivia with all of the styling in there, um, blah, blah, blah. If you come further down here to the buttons, you'll see that I have uh, button one equals button. It's set to display in root, and it displays ghost. Um, I have the styling there, and the interesting thing at the end is I have a command called blink LED. So if button one is chosen, it will come up here and blink LED 1, which is set to GPIO pin 26. That corresponds to the green LED here on the breadboard. Um, if you choose an incorrect answer, like Ghast, Ghoul, or Gremlin, it's set to blink LED 2, which is a red LED down here. Um, and then the escape, escape routine, um, I tried a couple different ways and I found this just worked out best. So after the uh, blink routine runs, it blinks the LED three times, then waits uh, one second, does a GPIO cleanup, then waits three seconds. And after those three seconds, I have it set to uh, system.exit. And that basically just exits out of this program. So I'll run it one more time. And uh, then I'm going to call it a night. And I'll just select ghost again, and we get our blinking LED. So that's it for this. I've got, um, I've still got to work in the servo code and um, a couple other things. Um, I'm just, it's, it's 1, 1 a.m. and I'm tired. So I'll jump back on that tomorrow. In the meantime, uh, hack the world and make awesome.